Okay, so first let's look at um, a dip coin. Oh, it's you, Dennis. Nice. So with dip coin, you know what we talked about previously was <laughs> coming down and retesting this this trend line. Actually, right? That was like the first thing we talked about. Um, because whenever you break these trend lines, you're bound to come back back down and retest them eventually. You know, very very common. Because um, whenever you're breaking a new support, you know, you usually come down and retest it, right? That's what happened here, right? Right there. Um, so what's happening right here. You know, eventually when we broke this one, we came back down and tested it. When we broke this one right here, we came back down and tested it, right? So it's kind of like whenever you, like we know here we broke into this channel, we came up and retested it again. Um, we, when we broke down to this channel and here we came up and retested it, right? Hey, what's up, Samir? So, you know, that's just a very common price action that you see happen. So eventually we're gonna come back down. Just because this entire thing was like a big BART, right? I mean, it's no shocker. This was a, you know, a huge BART here. So we talked about it coming down, retesting this trend line. That's kind of what we've had. You know, it really hasn't moved at all today, actually. Just been kind of sitting here. Um, not really doing much. Now, what's important to know is that it has a higher low. If you can call it a higher low right now. But the thing it's missing is higher highs. So don't be fooled, think, you know, looking like, hey, this thing is definitely going up 100%. No, not quite until we start making higher highs. So when you see something like this, you know, you need to trick your brain into thinking this is when you need to be shorting, right? Whenever you're at these highs, think about shorting and have confidence in it, right? Have confidence that when you're testing these highs, this is where you should be shorting, not longing. And if you keep doing that, if you trade with those good like fundamentals, those, um, those good basics, then you're going to be doing well on most of your trades. Okay. Like nine out of 10 trades. If you trade with those, that discipline, that's when you're nailing all your trades when you're trading with that discipline. So in this case, I would be looking to short right now. This exact moment, I'd be looking to short. And my stop loss would be on the other side of this when you're making a higher high somewhere up here. I thought my authenticator was over here. Oh, I probably dropped it outside in the snow or some shit. So for Bitcoin, key levels. It's quite a few here. Um, so remember to be longing at supports, right? We're gonna be longing at supports, showing at the tops. Um, you know, all this was one big Bart here. So, you know, we talked about maybe you know short up here we didn't talk about it at that area we talked about it up here at 19.1 we didn't quite make it up there yet but bitcoin's at a very decisional point here it's really interesting and honestly you know looking at i i, I looked at all the data earlier some of the on-chain stuff um you know crypto quant and nothing really looked super convincing you know it really didn't um about what was going to happen next you know there was no like there was no like uptrend or downtrend to you know the the volume inflow outflow anything you know everything was just kind of like even keel as with all this stuff happening in the you know outside the markets everything was just kind of like eh you know nothing was really happening so things were just kind of going sideways things were kind of stagnant you know so i'm not really rushing into any trades right now you know i'm just kind of waiting for the market to decide because at this point, we're not really, if anything, I'd be looking for longs, okay? After all this downside, I'd be looking more for longs right now. That's the key, looking for longs. But overall, you know, we're kind of like at this indecision point, you know? I would be looking more for longs down here at 17.14. This is gonna be a much stronger level. This is, you know, this channel is, you know, historically been much stronger, right? And we already broke this channel right here, up here at the top, right? So I would be looking more for longs down here at, if we break to the downside, 17.13 at this area, 17.16, somewhere in this area. Where this gray box is, we have all this, all this volume here. All right. If I'm looking for shorts, you know, I, I wasn't really that convinced by all this upside here. So it's really going to depend on how fast we move up here. I could see us coming up and making a lower high and then 
literally falling off the face of the earth. But again, you know, there's just so much happening in the crypto market right now with, you know, all the stuff happening outside of the actual, you know, market. That it's it's kind of like at an indecision point. You know, people are just kind of like, like a lot of this money is kind of outflowing, inflowing to different exchanges. You know, people are taking their money off one exchange, maybe moving to another. It's really not super clear. And so when I looked at the um, a lot of the on-chain data, it didn't really look like it was going in one direction or the other. Um, it really didn't. So at this point, if anything, I'm looking for longs here. Okay. I'm looking for longs here or I'm looking for longs down here. Okay. And I think if we do get a long down here, at least this is good for a touch of the top of this channel right here like this. Okay. I do like one of these. All right. So that's where I would be. I'd be waiting for it to come down here at once, uh, 17, 155, somewhere in this area right here where the gray box is. And then I'd be trying to take profits, at least some of it at 17.4. I think that's, that's a fairly good, safe, safe plan. You know, it's good to have a plan. Um, but I'm not rushing in anything right now because we're kind of like in the middle of nowhere. You know, we came down to support this channel line. We broke it. So, you know, it's like how strong is this area, you know, for long, it's so, so, you know, but you can't really short down here after we had all this downside, right? Just not a good short. So if you're looking for a short, wait for some upside first, like 17.5. That'd be a good short area at this daily pivot right here, 17.5. But again, I wouldn't be entering in anything like high leverage. It's not a super key level or anything like that. Your real key level is going to be way up here, you know, like, you know, the top of this range, like 19.2, 19.1. This is where your, where your real, real key levels are. Oh, let me get this up. It's so big. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense to everyone. So, you know, I'm, you know, I'm not rushing anything right now. 19.1, good short area. If you're really aching to get into a short, 17.5 up here. Otherwise, 18K around where we'd make a lower high would be a pretty strong area. I'd be looking more for longs around 17.1. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Congrats. Most people finish early, but you made it the full distance. That's awesome. If you're looking to learn how to trade crypto, check out one of these other videos.